in this video, I'm gonna react to this get a rate commercial that has been making the rounds last year. This topic, ladies and gentlemen, is dear to my heart because we help people get in shape and lose weight who are sometimes morbidly obese. Now, obesity is a very complex issue. It's not just about eating less and moving more, even though this is part of it. Sometimes if you have been obese for a very long time, your body starts fighting you if you want to lose weight. But before we get started, I have a gift for you. 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts for free. Check the first link in the description. <laughs> Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag hier. If you're new to this channel, we're all about kettlebells. And sometimes I do reactions on particular fitness topics. So let's jump right into the video. So I'm gonna play this without music because I don't wanna get a copyright strike. So here we see a fit guy, a lean woman, and here's the morbidly obese woman in question. And she's doing some yoga stuff. The guy drinking the lean woman running. Now this is the shot everybody was talking about. Now from an aesthetic point of view, for some people, this might not be pleasing. For others, it might be. What we have to acknowledge is the fact that she's fairly strong. So the commercial continues, everybody's drinking it, and here we go. So here are my thoughts. A couple of reasons on why I think that it might be a good thing if we see a morbidly obese woman move in a commercial. Number one, even if you are obese, you can still train. Your body structure does not dictate whether you are allowed to move or not. In fact, if you are obese and you live a sedentary lifestyle, it is a good thing to move. Number two, we don't know her story. Maybe she's on her weight loss journey and now she wants to share it and get a rate was thinking, okay, let's feature this woman who's on a weight loss journey. Number three, fat shaming sometimes can really cause problems for people who are obese. That's one of the reasons why obese people don't want to go to the, to the gym because they feel like they get scrutinized or they get instantly judged. Now, here's why I think it might be a problem if we feature people in a commercial who are morbidly obese. Number one, if these people promote that obesity is healthy, this is where I draw the line. Because obesity is from an evidence-based practice and from an evidence-based perspective, a serious problem that can cause major issues with your body down the road. Number two, it is a big problem if obesity gets glorified for corporate interest. We know that businesses don't really care about your feelings or about a weight loss journey, for example. I've mentioned this earlier that this might be a reason why Gatorade picked her up. Probably in reality, they don't really care about any of this. They only care about the current state of the culture. So if the culture leans towards a certain side, then corporate business or corporate interests will always lean towards this side as well because they think in the bubble that they're sitting because they're completely out of touch with reality and normal people they think that this is what the market and this is what people wants they have their folks who do the analyses and they think okay this is what we have to do if we sit around and we glorify obesity and that is the reason why we feature this person in a commercial and we walk around and say hey this is the right thing to do because obesity isn't a problem, this is the wrong message. What we need is a high level of critical discernment if we see stuff like this. We have to understand that it is vital for people who have bigger bodies to move, but we also have to understand that this should not automatically translate into thinking that obesity is a good thing and that it, do and that it doesn't cause any problems. The last thing that I want to show you is this interesting comment that I've highlighted right here from Brian Woomer. He says, a society that mocks a fat person for going to the gym is gross. I agree. However, it is morally required for a society to mock a fat fitness model or fitness instructor, much like you don't want illiterate people teaching others to read. Now, while I agree with the sentiment of this statement, we should change it to a certain extent. I would say, however, it is morally required for a society to question a fat fitness model or fitness instructor. I'm highly sensitive when it comes to a recommendation to mock people. I don't think that this is the right way. I have seen 
biggest loser coaches mock their participants. And this really gets my blood boiling. People like us who are in a strong position shouldn't use our strength to push or press others down. We should use our strength to pull others up. And finally, what we also have to acknowledge is that the commercial represents reality to a certain extent. Do we really believe the illusion that the gym features only healthy, six-pack, rocking, lean folks? No, you also have normal people who go to the gym or who train, and maybe they are a little bit overweight, and maybe they are morbidly obese, and then you have the lean folks. So we all come together because there's one thing that we wanna do, move and train our bodies. Then here's the next thing that you have to do. You have to like the video, consider subscribing, share this video with a friend, and then go watch this video. This was the reaction that I was just talking about, where the biggest loser coaches were my Mocking biggest loser participants and I really got mad. My blood was boiling, so watch it right now.